Hi everybody, it's Diane. I am back to make Halloween cards to send this year. I bought some scrapbook paper. I generally don't do that anymore for holiday stuff, but I thought this line was really nice. It's Prima, but I like pink. Some of you may not like these. I thought they were really cool. This is not, this is different. This is Echo Park. And the, the stars in the back are foiled. I don't know if you can pick that up. Yeah, Prima started foiling like all their papers and I didn't like it. I just don't like it on scrap of paper. But like the spider web is foiled. Now that's kind of cool. You know, if it's more like a little accent thing, that's fine to me. And then this one. Okay. I also have little itty bitty cards from Hobby Lobby. They're two and a half by three and a half, which is ATC size if you're paying attention. So essentially I'm making Halloween ATCs. And I know one of my recipients is a cat person, so we'll do I think that one right off the bat. Yeah, isn't it? I think that's cool. Pink. I think it's cool. Actually, I kinda wish I would have bought two of those just because <laughs> I don't know what I'll do with pink spider webs anyway. They're less scary that way, don't you think? Come on. There. And now I'm still not organized back here, so I'm a little crowded. More so than usual. All right, well, I think I could trim the sides of that, except I think I'll call out Mr. Trimmer because I probably won't get them straight, and I hope I don't screw it up. I said sometimes this thing slips, or I slip. I don't know. It could possibly be me. Okay. All right, that's fine. All right, well, should we pick images first? Maybe we should do that. And then I can maybe put some of the stuff aside. I have to make five, did I say that? All right, what do my other people want? I don't know. Well, one is younger and I thought, Maybe one of the haunted houses. They're a pretty good size. Or even two. I could do it this way. Well, let's grab a couple and see. do something with that. We'll do something great, don't worry. All right, the other people. It's cute, isn't it cute? <laughs> All right, Diane. Um, well, I have another cat person on my list. Maybe one of these. Um, no, I don't know. Ghosts. Oh, the pumpkin. Oh. Well, okay, I'll take a cat with the word there. It's going to be a lot harder to cut into that. Or get to that, you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> it's probably going to be crooked. too bad. I think we'll get rid of this bottom spider. Well, maybe we should use the trimmer so it's nice and straight. There 
Uh, close. That's very close. That's pretty good. Uh, all right, a little off the top. Yeah, I can't believe, I know I'm a little early, but Halloween stuff. I've seen a lot of fall uh, journal type video. Well, I've seen the thumbnails. I haven't watched many. <laughs> a lot of fall stuff out there. Seems a little early to me. Well, um, I don't know. These are a little larger. Wowie chewing gum whistle. I never heard of that. Wowie. Well, what about this? It's kind of fun. What, one more. Well, gee, that's nice and straight. Look at that. And, th <laughs> and that one's just cutting on a line. I did better on that one. Uh, I don't know. You know, it is very hard to cut a perfectly straight line. I mean, it is. I've been doing this, what, my whole life. <laughs> it's not, I still can't do it. <laughs> Off that is. All right, let's get rid of that. Get rid of the evidence. Okay, and one more. Um, just pick something, Diane, please. You're kind of boring us. Well, what about a couple of these? Now that I cut that way crooked, I was just because I was going to fussy cut it. Maybe I should leave the back. All right, let's do that. And it'll be a hair short because of the way I cut it. I wasn't going to use this first one, but why not? Okay. It's not perfectly straight, but I'll probably put washi or ribbon or something on that. Okay, these are cute. These are fun. Can we see? Am I filming? Okay, so we need background stuff, or stamping, or what? This would be maybe cute, or not. This one needs something dark. Actually, I don't think these papers had any kind of dark back. Oh, this one does. Let me have a wire on me, thanks very much. Oh, well, that matches well. Okay. Although I hate to use paper like this, as you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> you know. Um, I'll cut that off camera. I'll get my other trimmer and cut that off camera. All right, that one would be good too. Okay, these two. That one doesn't need any background stuff. That one. That yeah, orange would be kind of nice. I do have my other scrap of paper box. Um, uh, Halloween and Easter and that that's falling apart. Yeah, I put package tape on it and it's coming off. Whatever. Okay. 
Is there anything in my background arena we could use for that pink ghost? Oh yeah, these are cute too. I forgot about those. I bought that like last year after the season, but I thought it was cute. Well, this is probably too busy. Yeah, too busy. Oh yeah, I got this too. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. Um, well, I don't think I want black, but let's see. No, I don't want black. I'll leave that out, though. Maybe that would be better than cutting into the ghost paper. Or that. Oh, what about this? This was an ad <laughs> with a scrap of paper order a year or two ago. Mm, no, that's too too much dark on there. Well, purple. That's okay. I don't love it. I don't love that either. I think I like purple better. I doubt it, no. And since I have all this cool Halloween stuff, I can make something else. But yeah, what? I mean, just make little ATCs or something? I don't know. No. Probably no. No. Oh my gosh, Diane, how much Halloween stuff do you have? I don't know. That might be it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Well, I don't know that that was overly helpful. Let's see. okay but I think that's not bad let's say what's selling it for me is naturally this matches right, I kind of like that for this one that one I might just do ribbon or something did I already say that I don't think so hmm. stuff in my way No, that matches too well. No, I don't like it either. What else you got for me to do? Oh. Oh, well, okay. Maybe we'll do this. All right, I will trim this stuff up and probably glue these images down and then come back. Okay, what you see is glued. I did ink a few edges, not every one. Um, you know, this one really, as boring as that really is, I could just sew around it or something or add a couple more. Yeah, this uh, swirl design, as you can see, a lot of it got covered up. And I have neighbors all over the place today, different yards making noise. I'm sorry. Got some dots. So I'm a little surprised. It's not that nice out. It's a chance of rain. It's cloudy. It's cool. All right, that's good. Um, I don't know. Was there... Yeah, this one... 
I kind of thought we'd take one of these bigger ghosts. That might be kind of cute. Let's do that. Oh, it does say Halloween there. All right, maybe we'll save that. Oh, my garbage can isn't here. I emptied it and I left it in another room. <laughs> I mean, I have to take it to another room to empty it. And I left it in there. And I just move it around from room to room. Keeps me occupied. Okay. Well, I am covering a bat there. Is that nice? What about there? Okay. And I do have Halloween washi tape too. This one, little plane. Um, I don't know. You know, really, washi tape on there. I kind of thought of decorating the envelopes too because that would be fine. Um, as you noticed, and I pointed out, these are very small. You cannot send them through the mail like this. So I'm going to put these in bigger envelopes to send them. So I have these plain envelopes then that I won't, you know, be addressed or anything. Oh, <laughs> a little short. Ooh. All right, and then something different on the top. Could do ribbon or a trim or a rickrack. Yeah, that's too much. Okay, trim or something. That one. What about, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to find it, am I? Oh wait, here it is. Oh. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> I bought some of these little envelopes at a garage sale once. They're gold, you know, yeah, real gold. No, I mean, you know what I mean, foiled. And I keep one of them handy. The other ones are sort of in storage, and I didn't think I'd be able to find it. I found it. I think I make some gold stars. Or punch gold stars. garbage can. <laughs> as tedious as this is going to be, that might look, it might look nice, but you might not see it. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's worth it. I don't think it's going to be the sole decoration on that, though. I'll glue those off camera because they're so fussy. This is probably too wide. Yeah. Um, well, what about a couple bats? I brought up my bat punch and I have a little piece of black cardstock here. Where'd it go? Here. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I'll look for that one later. It flew on the floor, onto the floor. Uh, I don't think that's too little. It's too fussy with that. Maybe here. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I don't know what to put on that ghost. 
maybe just trim that of course I didn't bring up because <laughs> I thought this would take me a lot longer um too wide all right well let me be a dork and pause uh find my garbage can look for that bat that flew away and i'll get some trim hang on okay well we have choices that's always good so let's get a little organized here all right this one Okay, it's kind of cute. I could do that and then maybe stitch over it with black. I could grab black too. I didn't think of that. That might, well, that's kind of interesting. What if I did that and then put black either rick rack or ribbon over the seam? My goodness, we're unwound here. Is that too much? Oh, I don't think so. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do on the interiors, in case you're wondering. This one, I don't know if it really... Well, that's not bad. Actually, I think orange would be better. I don't know if I have narrow orange or gray. Entertain yourselves while I'm looking. La dee da, I've got red. I think I've got everything but. Well, I do not have orange narrow rickrack. Do I have pink? I've got white. Yeah, I have pink. That's coming apart at the seams, too. I like that, but I'm, I know my recipient would not. <laughs> okay, that's too boring. I want orange. Uh, do you think it will just magically appear as I file through this box? Look at this. <laughs> Uh, no. All right, maybe I don't want orange anyway. All right. Then what am I going to do with this one? Well, that's okay. I still, personally, I think pink would be better, but how was that other one? I lost it. I had another pale orange. I lost it. Just a minute. I thought I pulled that out. Oh, that's kind of nice. All right, well. Do you want to do that on that? And black on the side? I don't know. It's starting to get a little tight there. Well, it's okay. Okay. All right, and these are going to fall off, and I'm not going to remember what is what. Well, this one. I'll see something purple. I don't think I really have that. <laughs> Ask me if I have anything purple. No, I don't think so. Well, that's kind of cool. Well, if we put that on the bottom, 
but did something else on the top just to be more interesting. I do, I've got purple ribbon. Yeah. Okay, why not? Okay, where do the other ones go? Yeah, I'm working, this, this is it. This is my workspace, you guys. Um, <laughs> I'm so disorganized back here with, I, I said I changed stuff around, I'm painting. Oh, I kind of like that. That's not bad either. I know that might be a little, is it too much? Too extreme, Lucy once said. Yeah, I like the pink. Okay. All right. Last one. No, let's get rid of this. this. Oh, that's kind of nice. All right, do we want that up the side? No, that's, I think it's too repetitive. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, I put all this stuff away. I'm going to glue this stuff down. And then we could do something with, clever with the envelopes. How about that? All right, I want a big clever idea when I get back here. Okay, they're glued. They're not trimmed. The glue is still wet. And no, I didn't mix anything up. No problem there. And just for the record, these are really nice quality envelopes. I was impressed. All right, well, I was thinking as long as I have all these images, I will just, I think, pick an image put it on and then add a uh, washi tape or something so this one I don't think we want to just do another jack-o-lantern that's that's too you know repeated so I think this one will get a ghost and I'll try to remember what it goes with <laughs> Um, the same with that one. I don't think I want to repeat the cat, so that one can get a jack-o'-lantern. And I know this person would appreciate orange more than pink. Okay. Now this person could get a pink one. That would be cool. And they just fell in my garbage can. So that's what I get for bringing it back here. This one could get a cat face, don't you think? And then that one, I don't know, as you, you know, can see, it was a different paper collection and stuff so that these aren't really going to match. And these. Well, cats don't go. Oh, I have to pause. I can hear my husband driving up the driveway. I'll decorate the envelopes and then we'll come back and discuss the interiors. Sorry, hang on. Okay, well, I'm done. Sorry, but <laughs> I, I finished off the envelopes and I started goofing around with the interiors and I decided to stamp them. So here's this one. So, you know, who wants to watch that? You've seen it a million times. Okay. I think these are cute. I like little things. I like little cards. They're cute. All right. Well, my Halloween cards are made for the year. Good. I'm glad. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you have a very nice day out there.